Good morning. My name is Yuanjun Wang. Today, I'm going to present my final report to you, which is a study case on hybrid automobile. I'm going to talk about my final report in background, concept development stage, engineering development stage, post development stage, challenge, and finally, summary and lessons we learned. Today, we are standing at an edge of an era where some topics such as air pollution, the depletion of the fossil fuels are getting human beings attention. Because of that, people are seeking new ways of transportation such as electrical vehicles in order to solve these problems. However, we're at a period that connects the past and the future. I believe that the pure electrical automobile are not the f a true solution yet. We need something in transaction between the traditional fuel engine and the pure electric automobile in order to fix many problems such as long time charging time, the infrastructure of the power station. Because of that, a hybrid car will be a compromise solution at this moment. Since the fossil fuels cost millions of years to form, they are on renewable energy resources. According to the data website Ecotricity, we would run out of our oil deposit in the year of 2052. Eight years, eight years later, which is 2060, we're going to run out of the gas. At last, the coal will be extracted completely around 2088. The data seems a little bit scary, which means our majority energy resources will be gone within this century. So what is the automobile exhaust pollution? Few combustion engine exhaust the gases, including carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, suffering dioxide, and particles. These gases will cause the greenhouse effect, which might change the Earth's climate in the future, leading to the global warming. Also, pollutants are damage our health, which might cause heart disease and asthma. Because of that, to design a new and better fuel consumption engine to improve the efficiency of burning gasoline and use non-emission electrical engineer engines seems reasonable. According to the website physics.org, it gives us a definition of a hybrid car. It's a normal fuel efficient car that has two motors, an electric motor and a gasoline powered motor. It also has a special system system to capture braking energy to store in an onboard battery. Now, I'm going to talk about the concept development stage, need analysis, primary object. The world we are living in now depends on all kinds of transportation such as aircrafts, ocean cargo ships, heavy duty trucks, and personal vehicles. Without them, our life could return to the stone age. Almost all of them are equipped with traditional fuel combustion engine. The invention of the fuel combustion engine builds the modern world we are seeing today. However, as mentioned in the background section, fossil fuels are non-renewable energy resources. And if human being not taking actions now, they are going to run out of in the next 100 years. As a solution to develop a hybrid car with both conventional engine and electric motors, would be a win-win situation at this moment of time. It can cover the shortage between these two types of automobile in order to improve a better mileage per gallon, saving fossil fuels resources, produce less greenhouse gases and pollutants, as well as provide a fast recharging at the same time. For the need-driven system development, the simplest and the fundamental reason that we need to develop a a hybrid car is because of the fossil fuels are unrenewable. We will run out of them eventually in the future. It's just a matter of time. So we need a solution for that. The second reason here is because of the government regulation. Here is the quote from the slides on the lecture four. Beginning in the 1960s, the government made the laws that requires manufacturers to make substantial improvements in the fuel economy, safety and pollution control. These regulations pose a major challenge to the, uh, to the automobile industry because they require technically difficult trade-offs 
and the development of many new components and materials. In this quote, we see three important points, which are fuel economy, safety, and pollution control. The development of the new hybrid car can meet all these requirements, provide us a cleaner way of transportation. As the technology-driven system development, automobiles nowadays become smarter thanks to the development of the hardware set. One of the examples will be self-driving. We are able to control the cars thanks to the faster ECUs. With the powerful hardware equipment, we are able to do the image processing to adapt the situations on the roads in every second in order to do the self-driving functions. Imagine cars is being controlled and driven by itself in the future, and in a large scale controlled by a very powerful system. Transportation will become safer and much efficient. The distance between each automobile could be very small. We might not even need the traffic lights. Also, the central computer can control the traffic flows. In a short amount of time, transportation will become efficient with less traffic jam. But it also has competitive issues. In my opinion, Tesla would be a pioneer on the developing car, electric cars. However, big brands such as BMW, Toyota will join the market because of the potential marketing value. Since this company may have a successful predecessor system than Tesla, they might be able to catch up in a short time and make better hybrid cars. The competition between different cars brands will push the speed of the development newer and ch cheaper automobile for everyone. Next, I'm going to talk about the concept of exploration. Principal objective. So I categorized the hybrid automobile into four subsystems. There are first, electrical and uh, electronics, second, power outputs and engines, third, powertrain and bottom frame, four, chassis, the exterior and the interior. As I category a hybrid automobile system into these four subsystems, each of them is significant to others. However, they are working together as a system to, pro to provide user a safe driving experience. From the need analysis, we want to build a hybrid car that could compromise the shortage from both traditional vehicle and electric vehicles. The problem towards the fuel economy will go into the power output and engine subsystem, while the battery will go into the powertrain system. All our needs from the need analysis will be converted into these four subsystems. So here's the definition and system materialization and for, for each subsystem. For the electric and the electronic system, anything related to the electronics belong to this subsystem. This subsystem plays a role, seems more important nowadays than it used to be. The engine control unit can control Almost everything such as collecting data, give user selection between fuel combustion engine or electric motors, and adjust air suspension in order to provide smooth transportation between different terrains. The central computer, which involves a lot of cameras and sense, could provide the self-driving functions. Other than that, the central computer controls everything electronically, such as climate control, and radios. For the power output and the engines system, a hybrid car design contains two engine systems. First one is the traditional fuel combustion engine. And the secondly is the engine system will be the electronic motors, which provide alternative power sources for the vehicle. For powertrain and bottom frame, the powertrain connect the steering, suspension, brakes, and transmissions. Also, it delivers power and torque from the engine to the wheels. Since hybrid automobile contains two different engines, powertrain can be complicated compared to the 
system that a traditional vehicle or the electric vehicle has. The system also contains the battery, which is a very important part for electric power system. And also, it contains a system that can collect the brake energy to recharging the batteries. For the car, chassis, exterior, and interior, this subsystem is the most in interactive system connecting to a driver. Designer needs to provide a safety chassis might involve the development of the new materials such as carbon fiber. They also need to design a good interior structure to interact with the user. A good exterior chassis design, including aerodynamic, could provide a better MPG in the long term. And for the last, modern cars also need a good operating system while the largely uses of the application through the smartphone. As you can see, attached is the block diagram of subsystem and their components. Components such as batteries, keyless engine, cameras, radio system will belong to the electrical and the electronic subsystem. Air intakes, interior combustion engine, craft shaft, water cooling system will belong to the power output and engine system. Suspensions, batteries, gearbox, wheels, steering wheels will belong to the powertrain and bottom frame. And components such as mirror doors, windows, seats, seat belts will belong to the chassis subsystem. Now I'm going to talk about the concept of definition. Since I category a hybrid automobile into four systems, I decided to choose some most attractive system concepts to study. Under the electrical subsystem, I decided to choose the development of the AI system that will provide us the self-driving function. The sh this self-driving system should be able to adapt to the newly designed hybrid automobile. At the same time, the operating system could provide the driver uh, different functions, such as showing the location of the closely charging station. For the power output subsystem, I decided to sh choose to study how to improve the thermal efficiency of the traditional fuel combustion engine. And for the electric motor, I will focus on the study of the fundamental principle for electric motor. Thirdly, for the powertrain subsystem, I'll be focusing on the battery located at the bottom frame of the car, since the battery is one of the most important parts of the hybrid car components. For the last, I'll be focusing on the risk of the developing the hybrid car. Since people argue that in order to produce electricity, we're actually burning more fossil fuels. We need to analyze the risks in achievements of the concept above. Advanced development objectives. During the concept exploration, I have been categorized the hybrid automobile into four subsystems which are electrical and electronics, power outputs and engine, powertrain and bottom frame, chassis and exterior. Each of them is significant to others, but they all working as a whole system. Some of the components such as battery cross the category in both electrical and power output subsystem. I'm going to discuss system existing extensive advanced development and unproven concept in all these four categories. The first is the autopilots. Autopilot has been a hot topic since the beginning of the electric car era. Since that, many car companies have put a lot of effort and money into the development of the autopilot system. The achievements through the years are tremendous. It is just a matter of time that autopilots will replace humans to drive a car. About a month ago, Tesla had a whole conference where they introduced their new AI chips called FSD for self-driving computer, which are smart enough that is able to drive themselves completely. From a brief view a step aspect, it will be much safer and efficient to let the car drive themselves than human to drive it. But we are not at that point yet. At this moment of time, the technology is still under development and there are still many uncertain things remain. Question like who is going to take responsibility in an accident happens, 
when we use autopilot will still be uncertain. The second will be power regeneration. Power regeneration on the hybrid car is happened through a system called power regeneration braking system. It is one of the most distinguished features for the hybrid automobile. According to the data, theoretically it can recover up to 70% of the kinetic energy of a moving vehicle. However, we could still develop a better regeneration system and powertrain to make it more efficient in order to collect more energy based on the technology we have right now. The third one will be the development of the existing combustion engine and electronic engines. According to the data, the electric vehicle convert about 60% of the electrical energy from the grill to power at the wheel. Conventional gasoline vehicle only convert about 20% of the energy. As the early part of the report, I found out that it, a traditional combustion engine can achieve up to 50% of the energy to the wheels. Based on the technology we have so far, there is still more we can do to improve the efficiency of the traditional combustion engine. Fourth one will be the battery development. Just like autopilots, battery is one of the most important parts in the hybrid and the electrical automobile. I believe how the future of the hybrid and the electrical vehicle goes depends on and limited by the development of the battery. Battery now are still very heavy and they are very expensive to make. Public like how, questions like how we can improve the efficiency of the current battery. Even we can build a battery maybe with a whole new different material. I wish, uh, what about the, we can, the batteries on the truck? All these questions so far are not solved. Such questions are uncertain. Based on the development of the battery technology, we still have a long way to go. The five will be new material development. In order to make hybrid automobile more efficient on energy usage, not only we need to improve the efficiency on the traditional combustion engine and electric motors, but also to save weight of the vehicle its own. Traditional steel are very heavy. With the material engineering development, we could use new and light with materials such as carbon fiber to provide strong structure and also save a large amount of weight. Even further, the 3D printing technology might allow us to potentially print the car chassis in the future. Other things such as new operating system, car assistant, stolen vehicle tracking system, emergency braking system are all can be improved. There are also some unproven concepts. First will be the fully controlled traffic system by computer in a worldwide scale. Imagine that all the vehicles are smart enough to be controlled by the computer, a step that is further than just autopilots. When this error comes, possibly we can remove all the traffic lights in the world. The second one will be a GPS-based speed limiter. With the use of the GPS, we might be able to put a speed limiter to all the vehicles. According to the article, European wants to European politicals wants to put the speed limiter controlled by the GPS, which they believe it will reduce co collision by 30% and save 25,000 lives within 15 years. Now I'm going to talk about system engineering methods in advanced development. Requirements analyze. Based on the four subsystem, we can analyze the system function, no specification regarding to both their derivation from optional and performance. In order to build up an ideal hybrid automobile, here are some requirements we need to have. First, a hybrid automobile has to be very smart. It must have the state-of-art AI ability. Second, our hybrid automobile will have two power systems which contain both combustion engine and the electrical engine. Both engines need to be eco-friendly and efficient enough in order to provide higher MPG. 
Third requirement will be how we can improve our powertrain system, such as decreasing the fraction during driving in order to save more energy as well as to have the ability of power regeneration. We also need to provide a fast charge solution as well as a better development on the better battery technology we have so far. Finally, our hybrid automobile needs to be lightweight in order to improve the MPG, but still strong enough to provide the safety to the driver. Identifying components requiring development. We need to identify some components that belongs to the, all these four subsystems. Here are some components still needs to be development. First, this hybrid automobile requires a very powerful CPU, which deal with tremendous calculation in real time. It also needs to have a series of sensors and camera which uh, provide real-time data to the CPU. Also, we should develop a, develop a better uh, operating system to interact with the driver. For the power output and engine system, we need to develop a more efficient combustion engine. For the powertrain subsystem, the components such as battery require a large amount of development. It will be one of the most important components that need to be advanced development. We also need to build the two powertrain system, which can deliver the power from both combustion engine and electrical motor to the wheels. For the car chassis subsystem, we need to use strong lightweight material, functional analysis and design. An example will be battery belongs to the powertrain subsystem, but also a part of the electrical subsystem. A powerful CPU can read out all the data from the battery and indicate drivers such as battery is low. CPU can also give orders to control the powertrain system to tell the car to do a series of moves such as drive, stop, and turning. Prototype development. In order to make our hybrid automobile smart enough, we need to install a series of cameras into the car as the sensor to do the autopilot. However, we need to know how many cameras we need, how fast our processor can do the image processing. This needs a lot of funding and years of development before it can reach out our goal of fully autopilot. According to the data, there are six levels of autonomous capabilities. Level zero will be no auto automations. There's no assistance at all. The car has to be driven by a driver completely. And then it goes up step by step until level five, which is fully autonomous. Level five will reach out our final goal of autopilot. The vehicle will be able to drive themselves completely. There is no need of human to control the vehicle. Also, we need to make an improvement to make the batteries sm smaller and lighter. This is not enough to reach our goal to have a fully charged battery in just a full few minutes. The lithium iron battery we have so far is still heavy and it needs more than 30 minutes to fully charge if a supercharge is not used. Also, the infrastructure is still not fully covered with the supercharge capability nationwide. We still need to keep researching and developing new material batteries to, to meet our needs. Developing Testing. To make our hybrid car goes into massive production, we need to have our development testing to test out if the vehicle design can meet our requirements as necessary for the corrections in order to lead to a mature valid system. According to the article, how car testing works, testing a car is a very long, expensive process. The test is to make our hybrid vehicle to meet government safety standards as well as to satisfy, satisfy customers' demand and requirements. The most well-known test is the crashing test. In our study case, the crashing test would be a perfect test to use on our new materials for the vehicle. During this test, we'll crush our test vehicle to see if the new materials such as carbon fiber we use will meet the safety standards. Now I'm going to talk about the engineering design. Consider the system reliability about the autopilot. Our hybrid automobile must go through the testing such as driving thousands of miles on a closed road before 
goes into the public road. Hybrid automobile is a perfect example of the redundancy because it contains two powertrain systems. These two systems are independent but also working as parallel subsystems. If one of the systems is not working or failure, the other powertrain system can still provide enough power to make the car move. The, this redundancy example provides us uh, extreme reliability compared to the traditional vehicles. As the maintenance, we will ask our owner to do the service regularly. After all, we will examine our productibility. Since our hybrid automobile design a specific CPU just for the autonomous driving, we would easily produce them in large quantities. Integrations and evaluation. In this case, we need to integrate all four subsystems into a big frame. In order to prepare the test, we will need to build a pre-production prototype vehicles. Since we focus on some of the topics such as autopilots, battery usage, and new materials, this area will be our higher priority for the test. Our test also including crushing test with the dummy robots inside in order to test if our new material is strong enough to provide safety to the driver. As a result, all system outputs should be converted into measured data. Now I'm going to talk about the post-development production. From the requirements we analyze from engineering development stage, our hybrid automobile have the ability of full autonomous drive. It all contains two engine subsystems which are highly efficient. This vehicle also contains a new type of battery which are lightweight and can be recharged up to 80% under 15 minutes. The whole body of this new hybrid automobile is made of carbon fiber, which has saved a lot of weight in order to improve the range of this vehicle. Some of the important facts we need to consider are fundings and available resources. Funding become a limitation on the developing of the vehicle. If we, if we are not able to calculate clearly about the budgets and marketing, it might cause delays of the development or even development failure if we are not able to make enough profit. The installation of the car chassis might be easy for us. According to the slides from the lecture, however, the components such as the two type of the powertrain system might be require significant effort for installation. It is easier for us to upgrade our software frequently through the powerful CPU. Our field service support will be provided through the local dealer. We will also make a large amount of spare parts for the logistic support. And we will replace, replace the battery for free lifetime when the battery lifetime exceeded. Now I'm going to talk about the challenges. There are many challenges in the car industry. Here is just some of them. First, the hybrid cars nowadays are still based on the small vehicles. This is because of the cost of the building these hybrid cars are very high. According to Volkswagen's chairman, Mr. Porsche said, it is still unaffordable for the people on low income. To lower the cost for the car industry will be very challenging. Secondly, we know so far all the electric powered motor is still not capable on those heavy duty trucks, which provide the most important roles for cargo transportation inland. To develop the system for the heavy duty trucks are challenging. Third, the battery technology seems a big challenge for the industry. There are many problems in the developing of batteries, such as price, the charging time, and the uh, capacity of the battery to provide longer cruising range. Also, the battery life depreciation. The last one. Is it really good for the environment? According to the article, three major challenges facing electric vehicles. 38% of the electricity using only electric cars was being generated from the coals. When we will truly develop a hybrid car that is eco-friendly, it's challenging. What I have learned from this report. So today we are standing at an era where we are going through the transition between a traditional combustion engine automobile to an electrical vehicle. 
with the fast development of the powerful in-car processor, we're getting closer and closer to reach our goal of fully autonomous capability. In the near future, human will get their fruits hands-free from the steering wheels. But before that, there are still many challenges in front of us. To own a hybrid automobile for work is okay. However, based on the battery technology we have so far, the limitation on a long-run trip still exists. But although there are disadvantages comparing to traditional combustion engine automobiles, whether people are accepting it or not, the future of the transportation will become fully electric powered. Until that day come, I believe we should enjoy and embrace the technology we have so far. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Is there any questions so far?